Welcome to another TIBCO video tutorial brought to you by Smarter Incorporated. This is Jason Samoliano here today to teach you how to call a subprocess using TIBCO Designer. Let me just take a little bit of time to explain why it is good to use subprocesses in your project. First of all, if your parent process is becoming too large, too unwieldy, you might want to break it up into different subprocesses so that the parent process itself is much more readable. Secondly, you might want to put a certain functionality into a subprocess so that other processes in the project can call on that subprocess whenever they want to avail themselves of the functionality contained in the subprocess. So, with that said, how is this done using TIBCO Designer? Follow along with me and I will show you how to do that. I think you will appreciate how easy this is to do using TIBCO Designer, which in my opinion makes TIBCO a wonderful tool for application development. So please follow along with me into our TIBCO Designer tool. This is the Smarter TIBCO Tutorials project that we previously created in another tutorial. What I'd like for you to do inside the Business Processes folder, please create a new folder called Call sub process click apply save underneath the call sub process folder we're going to create a process definition the first one we're going to call parent process the second one we're going to create a second process definition we're going to call this one sub process you with me? A parent process and a sub process. Go inside the parents, parent process. You have a start and an activity. There are two ways that you can call a sub process. Let me show you the first way. You can right click on a white space, add resource, go to general activities, and select the call process activity. In the call process activity, you can select the process name by clicking on the browse resources button here and then specifying the location of the sub process that's one way to call a sub process the other way which I think is much easier is to do this so first get rid of the call process activity the other way is to simply take the sub process and drag it over into the parent process as such you see that now it created a call process activity which already put in the reference to the sub process. This is much easier to do and I recommend you do it this way. So you have a parent process here that has a call to the sub process. Let us connect them using transition lines. Go into the sub process and here we're just going to keep it really really simple. We're just going to put a, a transition line between the start activity and the end activity to keep it really simple. Go back to the parent process. Let's make everything nice and neat here. Now, let me show you something, a little trick here. Go to the folder called sub -proce call sub process and check to see, make sure that everything is validated. Click on this button here, Validate Resource, and you'll see that all resources are validated. That allows you, with just one click of the button, to validate both processes or all processes inside a folder. So let's go back to the parent process. I'm going to save. I'm going to run this. I'm going to go to the tester. Click on the green button here. Click on Load and Start Current and it called the sub process the parent process called the sub process if you go into the sub process this as well was executed and when it reached the end activity it switched the control back to the parent process and then the parent process ended so that's how you call a sub process from a parent process however what if we want to pass data into the sub process and we want the sub process to return data back to us into the parent process so let me show you how to do that stop your tester so what we're going to do here we're going to keep it really simple we're going to pass a name 
into the sub process and then we would like the sub process to return a greeting back to the parent process. So how do we do this? Go into the sub process. In the start activity of the sub process, go to output editor, follow along with me here, click on this add child button, rename this complex element called root into sub process request to make it more meaningful than just the word root. Underneath the sub process request, click on this add child button here and rename this new element called param, rename it to name. That is going to be the name that's going to be passed into the sub process. That's all you have to do. Now the sub process is expecting a name to be passed into it whenever it's called. Go into the end activity and we'll now go into the input editor so that we can pass data back to the calling process or to the parent process. In the input editor, click on this Add child button here, rename root into sub process response. Under, to, underneath sub process, we will create a child. So click on the add child, rename param into greeting. Click apply. So now this sub process will, is ready to return a greeting back to the parent process. Let's go back to the parent process. In the sub process here, you will now notice that in the input tab, you'll now see some red because there is a required element there called name in which you need to populate. So let us pass a name into this element. For this example, I'm just going to enter my name in quotes. So now this is going to pass JSON into to the sub process, the text JSON into the sub process. Click apply, go into the sub process now. In the end activity, we're going to take that name and turn it into a greeting. So click on the greeting element here. Click on this XPath Formula Builder pencil to bring up the XPath Formula Builder. We are going to concatenate a couple of strings here so that we can have a nice greeting to return into the parent process. Go into functions. Under string, use the concat function, and I show you how, showed you how to do this earlier. What we're going to do is, we're going to say, hello, and then the second string is the name, so it's going to say, hello, Jason, and then I'm just going to put an exclamation point, how are you doing? So your concat statement here should look like this. Hello, the past name, and then exclamation point, and how are you doing? You have this? Very good. Click apply, close. I'm going to click apply again here, and then I'm going to click on save. So I'm going to click on the folder again to, make sh to validate both processes at the same time. As you can see, resource was successfully validated, meaning everything underneath the folder is good to go, ready to be executed. Let's go back to the parent process, and let's go to the tester tab. Click on this start button here. Click on the load and start current. Let's see what happens. In the parent process, I'm going to click on the call process activity here. Go into the input data, and you'll notice that the name Jason was passed in to the sub process. If you go into the output, you'll notice that this call process outputted, hello Jason, how are you doing? Meaning that the sub process produced this greeting and passed it back into the parent process. One last thing I'd like to show you before we end today is in the configuration tab of the call process activity, there is this option called spawn. If you are to check this, what it is going to do is that it's going to allocate a separate thread for the sub process when the sub process is called. What that means is that you can perform multi-threading with your processes by spawning a new thread for the sub process to use. 
the drawback of this is that the output coming from the subprocess will no longer be available to the parent process if the subprocess is spawned to have its own thread. But in some cases, you really don't care what the output is of the subprocess. You just want it to go off, use a separate thread, and do its own task. So for today's tutorial, we have a mission accomplished. Thank you again for watching and thank you for all your supportive and wonderful comments. Please stay tuned for more tutorials to come. Again, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Take care.